Hello again, Steve here. A little bit late, so I won't take too long here. I just wanted to, an, an idea came to mind which is has to do with just jumping at an opportunity to improve oneself in some way, right? As I've mentioned many times, and I'll keep mentioning it, I like to go to Toastmasters. And last night, I even mentioned that in the last video, in the one about uh, visiting, I yeah, I went last night, and believe it or not, there was about, I'm going to say about a dozen people there at the meeting, and all quite experienced Toastmasters, but nobody signed up to speak, like in a prepared speech, right? Usually when I'm at a meeting like that, I jump in there because one of the reasons I joined Toastmasters, well, the reason I joined Toastmasters was to practice public speaking. And since I didn't have a manual, the way we works in Toastmasters is normally everybody has a manual they're working on. A, it's a series of speeches to prepare, right? The basic one is on the basics of speaking, and then there's advanced manuals to do with speaking to the media and doing seminars and, you know, technical presentations and whatnot, like specialized manuals. And I, I just threw out a suggestion, why don't we have a roundtable discussion on a topic? And, you know, Toastmasters are used to questions like that. There's usually somebody in the room who's got a solution and ta-da, pulls out a manual just for that. And this lady there, she pulls out this manual, it's called The Discussion Leader. And I got the manual. And, and lo and behold, in this manual, there is a, there is a top, there is a project called The Round Robin. The Round Robin, it's Project 2. I just love Toastmasters. I mean, this book is only, it's got five projects in it, and it's only about 30 pages long. Each project has three pages, two pages of instructions, and one of an evaluation, because Toastmasters are big on evaluations. And this is great, you know, because so often, you know, if we have ideas to share, we can just jump in there some way if we have some sort of structure and lead rather than just giving our information out there get kind of a consensus from everybody and come to a conclusion how can we come to a conclusion now in a project like this I don't really care about what the topic is the topic doesn't have to be of interest to me somebody threw out an idea and it was to do with there's not enough funding for public schools now if you know me uh, the way I think, there's probably way too much funding for public schools because public schools to me are not really schooling. But that's another whole story. Nevertheless, play the game, right? Go along with it because everybody is, it's an attempt to get some sort of a consensus out. And I like the way they do it here. It's broken down into, you know, some very simple, basically red headings are the, as we go along, there's red headings, right? The first red heading is present a problem. So I get up there and I presented a three-minute speech <clears throat> on or introduction into the current situation. You know that um, money's being wasted because if a kid wants to go to school at the other side of the city, there's a bus that even that'll bring him there, even though there's a school next door. Um, some schools have all kinds of bling bling like band and you know I don't know all kinds of extracurricular which I, I don't know. If, every school I had that I, when I grew up, had, and, you know, so, so there's, there's budgetary restraints in all these, in all this, all these frills, right, and as, as, so that's some of the stuff that I, that the guy who suggested the topic gave these points that he had read somewhere. So what we did then is we just got up there, and I got up there at the front with a flip chart, and I just went around the table, okay, do you have a comment? 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 Just wrote the comments down. Wrote them down, right? Once the comments were down, then we, as a group, whoever wanted to participate, discussed each topic. And I just wrote subheadings down for each point, right? Uh, and the idea with reviewing them is to review them with something called problem-solving patterns. So, for example, that there's too much money being spent on buses. Okay, so in reference to a question like that, what is the nature of the problem? 
ask these questions, right? Try to prompt people to. So the idea of a facilitator like this to try to prompt people to participate. So what is the nature of the problem? What are the facts of the situation? Who is involved? To whom does it apply? What causes the problem and conditions that brought it about? Okay. How can the situation be changed? These sort of questions are mostly along the lines of what, who, when, where, etc. To prompt uh, subheadings to come out, right? And then, once it was all said and done, pull the keywords out of all of those. That's what we did. We pulled the keywords. This was a 30-minute exercise. And we wrote them all down. There was three particular topics. There was who, there was who's involved, you know, children, teachers, administrators, blah, 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 parents, etc., all the way down, right? And then, what is the major concern? Well, it was budgetary restraint, so there's money, there's waste, there's allocation, and so on and so on, right? And then there is, um, so that was what, who, what, and how. So how, and there was a few points came out there. So then we basically formed, we just then we just asked everybody for a consensus. Of the, of, of, of the who list, who's most important on there? And everybody is children, of course, right? And then what, what's the, the issue to do with this? Well, it's a basket of them. There's, there's money, but it could be because of waste and so on. So it had some sort of a word. And we come up with like a mission statement for a solution to this issue. Now, why is this important to improve the quality of our lives? Well, because we're all in some sort of groups sometimes, right? Like, for example, families, workplaces, church groups, uh, community associations, neighborhood uh, barbecue, neighborhood um, yard sales, even present getting trying to get ideas out there for how to improve the quality of our lives and how to improve the world, uh, connecting with people. We're all involved with people all the time, and it's amazing how when we solicit the help of others, try to get ideas and try to come to a greater conclusion, because a lot of times we miss things. Oh, really? I never thought of that. You know? So it's just a framework, and there's probably lots of other frameworks on how to do it. You probably just download something off the internet, but I found that even though I had not prepared at all for this, except during the 10 minute break we had in the middle of the meeting, where I stood with that guy in the, amongst everybody else, and we just had a quick chit chat for seven minutes to do, to prepare my 30, my three minute opening. <clears throat> and then I just basically followed this through, just glancing at it once in a while. And it worked out quite well. I mean, I got fairly favorable review on the event, but it's, it's not that hard. It's really not that hard to, and, 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 and the term I think is facilitating. Right, because sometimes we can just help out. At you know, think of the the neighborhood flea market. Um, nobody really wants to step in and be sort of a leader, but it's not really a leader. It's more of like a facilitator. And a facilitator, of course, is somebody who just makes it easier for everybody. Right, that's what it means. Facile, if you you know French, Spanish, and so on. It's it means easy, and so we we are somebody who. Try, tries to make it easy, tries to help others, uh, or asks the questions and prompts the communication and so on to get people going. Because people have ideas, but a lot of times their minds are just so busy they're not thinking about, you know, giving input. But they see afterwards the value of it. It's just something I wanted to share, and I know it's maybe sounds like a way out there somewhere, but uh, I think there's a value to it, and you know to be used once in a while. Great chatting again. Oh, and of course, the topic of this <laughs> discussion was jumping right in there. So my point is that um, not only is this valuable in and of, in and of itself, but the point, the moral to what I was going to talk about at the beginning was the importance sometimes of just jumping in there because if we're, if we're, if we're at a place for a while or if we're at a, a place or a situation for a reason, it's best that we take yeah. advantage of the reason. And one of the reasons I'm at Toastmasters is to become a better communicator. So there was nobody up there who was going to give a presentation. Darn it, I was going to, and I did. So just 
maybe make that little bit of difference in the long run. Not very much, but it sure felt good to do this. Never done this presentation before that I know of, so it was good. Nice chatting again. Talk again soon.